Okay, what's up, YouTube? It's Spacey AI one more time. I'm about to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. So I want to talk to you guys about this one really quickly. I think this is really a dope feature. And I want to talk to you guys about piapi.ai. Links are in the description to this one. Guys, remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links to my social media in the description. So Piapi, what is Piapi? Now, Piapi is a service that allows you to use different APIs even though they don't necessarily have public APIs. So these services don't have publicly available APIs, but Piapi has created functions that you can actually use on these different services without the access to the public API by using their API. So essentially you have four different APIs right now that Piapi supports. They support the Midjourney API, Luma, Kling, and Suno. In this video in particular, I want to talk about Luma and Kling. Recently they just added Kling, so Kling is now live on Piapi and you could host your Kling account on Piapi. Now, what does that mean? It means that the credits that you have within Kling, so currently right now, as you can see, I have 2,800 credits. So the credits that you have in Kling can be used with your Piapi account to be able to access the Kling API. So what will happen is that Piapi will connect to your Kling account and use those credits for generating video content or image content because you can generate images on Kling too. So that's what will happen. Currently, that's all they have. They don't have a pay-as-you-go support feature. However, they do have pay-as-you-go support for Luma. So you can also host on Luma as well. You can host your Luma account, but this one I wouldn't recommend because it from time to time it stops working because it uses your session key, but over time your session can expire and you're not, you're no longer able to use Luma API. So what I would say is that you would switch this over to pay as you go. So let me switch to pay as you go right there. And that will allow you to use the Luma API via Piapi service. And how do you set this up? So what you need to do, you need to go ahead and add a seat. And then once you add a seat, you then need to go to modify seat subscription. Then you need to go confirm and pay. Once you do that, you can have, currently I have one seat, but you can increase or reduce the amount of seats that you have. You confirm and pay is $10 per month for a seat and that seat will allow you to host your Kling account as an API on Piapi. So then you can integrate it with different services such as mate.com. So you can call the Kling API and set up a workflow, set up an automated workflow using Kling or using Luma. So Luma works the same way. You got to set up a, if you're hosting, you got to set up a seat. And then once you set up a seat, you can go ahead and add your Luma account to that particular seat. So you then, let me go back to hosting, show you guys what happens. So you'd bind your Luma account. There's no seats available, but once your seats available, you go ahead, bind your Luma account to that seat. And it will, once it's fully bind, you need your session key, which it does gives you instructions on how to get that, right? Now, once you bind your session key, then you will see your account, your Luma account showing up as active and you can now go ahead and use PRP service to then call the Luma API and perform different functions, whether it be video generation, whether it be image to video and loops and things of that nature, extension, extending videos and things of that nature. You can do all of that using Piapi. Same for Kling. All the functions that are available in Kling that you see right here, whether it be the video length, aspect ratio, camera movement, negative, positive prompts, you can do all that image to video. You can do all of that through the API using Piapi, which is pretty dope. So you can do some automation. You can set up an air table to check your generations and things of that nature. And, you know, you can have all these things laid out within a make scenario so that you can then 
automate a workflow. You can automate videos and generation, things like that. And really just run like a, whether it be a documentary type of channel or a, a YouTube animation, whatever. You can do all of that through this service. So definitely guys, you, you should check this out. I think it's a great feature. Let me know what you guys think. Links are in the description to this one. Have a great day. Casey AI signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos like this, but have a great day. Casey AI signing out. Peace.